Hey guys, welcome back to the Thunder and the Shrink 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create rain and thunder on and by a window. So when you walk up to it, you're going to be able to hear the rain and thunder, and you will also see raindrops on the window itself as well. So I'll show you what this is going to look like now. So obviously we have our windows there, we don't hear anything. As we go near them, we can start to hear the rain. So we hear the rain there, and then obviously if I go in first person as well, we can see it here as well, and hear it too. Now you can see it in third person, but it doesn't look as good. But obviously here we can see the rain on the window falling like that and we can hear it as well and obviously if we back away again we can no longer hear it so obviously if you have your own textures go ahead and use those as it might look a bit better for you but i'll show you how to do that now so our first step is going to be to create our window blueprint so what i'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder to keep this nice and organized and just call this window or you can call this rain or anything like that you don't even need to do it here this is just for me and then we're going to right click get a blueprint class and get an actor and I'm going to call this window rain BP like that and open it up straight away and now I'm going to be using the start content window so what I'm going to do is add component up in the top left here get a static mesh and then over on the right I'm going to get the static mesh of the window frame so SM window frame there like that and then I'll get another static mesh once again and this one is going to be the actual window so now glass window and then I'll just move this into place and scale it correctly like so. So again if you have your own window use that as well but for me I'm using the start content which will look quite good as well. And then one final thing is another component so add component once again this one is going to be an audio you can get audio like that you can just leave it there where it spawns so in the middle and we're going to add something here in a minute. So we can compile and minimize that and now what we're going to do is actually create our rain and thunder sound effect. So what we're going to do is import that so I've just got one off of freesound.org which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. We can just drag and drop it in to import it making sure it's a WAV 16-bit file. It sounds like this and then what I'm going to do is right click on that and create queue and I'll leave that as rain queue and obviously name this again whatever you like and then if we select the wave player there I'm just going to hit looping so this way the rain will loop and then if we go back to our window bp and hit this little arrow here under sound we can add in that rain queue if that doesn't work just search for the rain queue there so we're adding the sound queue for our rain sound effect we've just created so we compile if we double click up here just to make this a little bit smaller or if you have two monitors put it on your other monitor just like this and what i'm going to do is we're going to create the attenuation for this so what we want to do is actually minimize this and just place in our window so we can put this in to our window frame that we have or wherever you would like to put it so i think that's going to be good for me for the moment doesn't matter too much so like that and then once again if i just open this back up again we have this here so now if i go over to the rain queue sound effect here and then make this a little bit bigger just so i can see what i'm doing deselect that and then go scroll down to the bottom so you can find override attenuation we're going to take that and then go back up to the top and mess about with the attenuation here so we have the inner radius and fall off distance. So the inner radius is this circle here, and the fall off distance is this circle here. So basically what this means is the inner radius is where you're gonna be able to hear it at full volume, so we can make that bit bigger. And the fall off distance is where you're still gonna be hearing it, but it's gonna be fading out a little bit. And so this is gonna be where the camera is. So if you're in third person, you might wanna make this a little bit bigger so the camera still reaches it. And if you're in first person, obviously you can make it as tight a fit to the window. So I think that is gonna be good for me. So when we're around this area of the window, we're going to hear the rain at full volume and when we're here we're going to hear it fading in and out depending on how close we are to the window so i think that's good for me so i'll just maximize that again save and then i can close that as well and so now that is basically our base window done so i'm also just going to put in my other ones here so i just put them all in and copy and paste the location there to get them all on the same z axes so just do that and like i say this is the base part done so if we go near it we're going to hear the rain like that so this works perfectly you can hear it fading in and out like so so that works so now the next step is to create the actual rain visual effects so what i'm going to do is again import texture which i've got so i got a copyright free picture of rain so a rain texture and then just resize it in photoshop but i will leave the actual image in the description as well so you just drag and drop that in there as well i made it a png and just made it a square so we have that here so we can just double click that and this is the texture what i'm going to do which it doesn't matter too much but i'm just going to get the chroma key texture here tick that and change this color to black so what this is going to do is it's just going to get rid of the black colors in the background which just helps it look a lot more transparent and see-through so you can just do that and save that 
and close it again. And now what we're going to do with this is create a material for it. So if we right click, get a material and we just call this rain mat or actually what we can do is just right click on the texture as well, sorry, and then create material. So create material from that and call this rain mat or anything like that and just open it up straight away. And the benefit of that is that we now have the texture sample in here. But if you did it the other way, just hold down T, left click, get a texture sample and change the texture to your rain down there. And we're gonna leave that plugged in to the base color like so. Then what we're also gonna do is down here in the bottom left where we have blend mode opaque, we're just gonna change this to translucent like that as again, we want this to be see-through. And so now you should be able to see you have this kind of rain texture here, but it also isn't moving, which we don't want that. We want the rain to actually be falling down the window. So to do that, we're just gonna get a panner. So hold down P, left click, plug that into the UVs of the texture sample there, and then select it, the speed Y, we're just gonna to change to minus one. So what this is doing is it's gonna be moving the texture down on the Y by one, or by minus one is because we're moving it down. So when this has worked, we can see that it looks like that. And obviously as this is the speed Y, you can change this to make it faster or slower. So you can increase or decrease it. So obviously if you get below minus one, so like minus two, minus three, that will go faster. If you go above, so closer to zero, then it will be getting slower. And anything above zero, it will go up, which obviously we don't want. So that works perfectly. So that is the base material done. So we now have the rain falling. So one final thing is we changed it to translucent. So if we hold down one and left click, we can get this value. And this is gonna be the opacity. So I'm gonna put this to 0 0.7 and just plug that into the opacity there. Mess about with this value to get it perfect for you. So obviously different opacity, which is how see-through it is. So again, mess about with that. But once again, once this applies, we'll be able to see in the preview up in the top left what this looks like so far. And it looks something like this. So I think that's gonna be good for me. Again, mess about with this to get it perfect for you. So you're gonna change the speed here and the opacity here. Other than that, it works perfectly. So we can save and then close that. So now the final step is to add this into our window. So what we're gonna do is again, open that up and add component and we're gonna get a plane. So get a plane like that. And then for the material of this, we're gonna put this as our rain mat like so. So rain material like that. And then what we're gonna do is also just rotate this to be the correct way around and then also scale up to the right size as well, making sure that the rain is falling down. Now we're gonna compile, save that, and then I can see in here which way it's facing. So this is the wrong way. So this is actually the inside, but I want this to be the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate this around on the Y or the X, sorry. So it is now facing this way. And also, so I'm aware in the future which way it is, I'm just gonna add another component. And this one is gonna be an arrow, which is something that only we can see as the developer when we're making the game and have this face this way. So I know this is the front of the window or the inside where we're gonna be able to see the rain. So I compile, save that, minimize it, and now we are finished. So as you can see, we have these arrows here. If we hit play, we can go up to the window, or we'll hear the rain, and we can also see it on there as well. And the further we get away, the quieter it gets, and the closer we are, it slowly fades in for us to be able to hear it, and we can see the rain falling down like that. So I think this works perfectly, and this is perfect for like a little nice horror game or just anything when you're inside and you have rain on the windows like that. So this works perfectly. And if you get a little glitch like that, that's just because we haven't moved the plane far enough up or the texture. So if we just scale it up like that, that should get rid of it. It's just essentially where it is clipping through. But obviously you can mess around with that to get it perfect for you. So I think that'll be it for this video. So we've done nothing we want to do. We've created our own window blueprint so that the audio for the rain will fade in and out depending on how close or far away from the window we are and we also have a rain texture on there as well. So you can see it's quite bleak, quite dark, and this rain is falling down as well. So this works perfectly, and you can also customize it however you want. So you can change the speed of the rain, you can change how opaque it is, or how see-through it is, and you can also change the sound effect for it as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.